is Evelyn Pompreon, and uh, when Larry was growing up, I was always known, both my husband and I were always known as Larry's mom and dad. <laughs> I don't think we had our own personalities. We were known as Larry's mom and dad. Larry, Larry's a special, special kid. And it's not just because he was, he was our son. Um, he, he had a nice personality. He was an intelligent kid. Um, he wanted to uh, always take part in sports. And even at a very young age with the YMCA here in town, he was doing archery and soccer and wall climbing and whatever he could get his hands on. The night of the fun run, Larry was um, training for a uh, tryout with the NFA soccer team. He was a dual athlete. He played soccer and he also uh, played lacrosse. Uh, he also ran indoor track in the winter time uh, to stay in shape for lacrosse. The night of the run, he uh, made it around the first loop and then collapsed and fell into a cardiac arrest. Three days later, he uh, passed away. Larry was 15 at the time of his uh, sudden cardiac arrest. We had to do something. And realizing that not having an AED there on site, uh, that could have made the difference. Our organization is the Larry Pompreon Athletic Safety Fund, and our goal is to place AEDs in schools and athletic fields to try to um, assist with any kind of cardiac event that might occur at those, at those places. Almost 100 AEDs now, it's in the high 90s, so we're hoping to get the 100th one in coming up soon. And it was started with the intention of trying to educate about the importance of an AED and what sudden cardiac arrest is all about uh, and to raise awareness about it and um, honor Larry. He's probably laughing at us, but that's, that's okay. You know, that's, it's not just us that, had, that did the work through Larry's Fund. There are so many others. Um, and it was, it was a group effort and it continues to be a group effort. You know, we run into people in every day. Um, they're very quiet, very unassuming, and these are the people that are the real heroes. Um, they just quietly go about their business, and those are the people that, that just are, they deserve that. I would highly recommend that people do take AED CPR certification. If you don't have that device and somebody is in cardiac arrest, unless their heart is shocked, they'll probably die. That's the way that it goes. So I would, yes, I'd highly recommend people get certified in CPR and AED use. When we found out that we were nominated for a Heroes Award, I guess I was kind of surprised because I don't necessarily consider us heroes. We're just a couple of parents that uh, are trying to make the best of a bad situation. We're grateful that to have been nominated and be, to be getting the award. It's uh, it kind of makes the, a nice little tribute to our son. So in every little bit helps.